سلام. My name is Sasan Zand Mogaddam. I'm a visiting scholar. I hold a PhD in Persian language and literature in the Department of Near Eastern Languages and Cultures. Salam. My name is Emily Stranger, and I'm a PhD student in the Department of Central Eurasian Studies. In this video, we will introduce the country of Iran and the Persian language. Iran is located in the Middle East and is known for being a Middle Eastern country, but both its geography and cultural influence extend well into the Central Eurasian region. It is bordered to the east by Iraq, Turkey, and Armenia, to the north by Azerbaijan and Turkmenistan, and to the east by Afghanistan and Pakistan. Iran also borders the Caspian Sea to its north, the Persian Gulf and Gulf of Oman to its south. Iran is approximately twice the size of Tigris and is the second largest country in the Middle East. Its capital is Tehran. Iran is a theocratic republic whereby the supreme leader is the head of the state and the president is the head of the government. Iran has the second largest economy in the Middle East after Saudi Arabia. It ranks second in the world in natural gas reserves and fourth in oil reserves. Iran's main imports are iron and steel, machinery, chemicals and related products, and transport vehicles. Still, at 55%, services play a more important role than industry and agriculture in Iran's GDP. Agricultural products include grains, fruits, nuts, dairy products, and cotton. Iran is world-renowned for its pistachios and hand-woven textiles. The Iranian government owned the largest companies which were mostly found in extraction and manufacturing industries. The United Arab Emirates, China, South Korea, Turkey, and Germany are currently Iran's main trading partners. According to the United Kingdom's Treasury Department, benefits of doing business in Iran include not only its large population, but the age of its population. Over 60% of Iranian are 30 years old or younger. Iran also has a highly educated workforce, is abundant in natural resources, and is strategically located. It serves as a gateway between the Middle East and East Asia and has access to both Persian Gulf and Oman Sea. As of 2018, Iran has a population of approximately 83 million people, making it the second most populous country in the Middle East and 18th most populous country in the world. There are many ethnic groups living inside Iran. These include Fars, Azeri, Kurd, Lur, Baluch, Arab, and Turkmen and Turk tribes. The official religion in Iran is Shia Islam, and approximately 90% of the population are Shia Muslims. The other 10% of the population are Sunni Muslims. Other minority religions practiced inside Iran include Christianity, Judaism, and Zoroastrianism. The Iranian flag consists of three horizontal stripes, with an emblem in the center. The green stripe stands for Islam, the white stripe stands for hope and peace, and the red stripe stands for bravery. After the 1979 Iranian Revolution, the new theocratic government of Iran, spearheaded by Ayatollah Ruhollah Khomeini, adopted a new flag to reflect the new Islamic government. The horizontal stripes were kept, but the middle emblem was replaced by the new coat of arms of Iran. The center emblem, which appears to resemble a lotus blossom, has the word Allah written in Arabic script. The phrase Allah Akbar, meaning God is great, is written 11 times across the bottom of the green horizontal line and 11 times at the top of the red horizontal line. The Iranian flag is displayed on government buildings throughout the country and Iranian citizens are often seen waving the flag at the sporting event and other public gatherings. Iran is a beautiful country with a rich history. It is home to 23 UNESCO World Heritage Sites that include remnants from the first Persian Empire. Because of its mountains and coastlines, Iran offers a wide range of activities for visitors. Domestic tourism in Iran is one of the largest in the world, and despite Iran's rocky relationship with the United States, it remains a popular tourist destination for many international tourists. In 2007, Bloomberg identified Iran as one of the top 20 tourist destinations to visit. United States citizens are able to travel to Iran, but there are restrictions. Currently, U.S. citizens are not eligible for a visa on arrival. 
and you must book your travel through a tour guide. There are many reasons to visit Iran. Ask any international traveler, and they will tell you that Iranians are some of the most hospitable and friendly people that they have encountered. If you travel to Iran, be prepared to receive invitations for tea by friendly strangers. You should also make sure that you understand the rules and nuances of tarof, which is the Iranian code of etiquette. The unspoken rules of tarof may seem strange to some Western visitors, but it is an important aspect of Iranian culture and one that you should learn about before you go. We'll cover the topic of tarof more in depth in later videos. Iran's most popular cultural attractions include its mosques and bazaars. A mosque is a place of worship for Muslims, and Iran has some of the most famous and most beautiful mosques in the world. Their symmetrical designs and vibrant colors are breathtaking, and some are hundreds of years old. Bazaars in Iran are usually located in the biggest square of the city, and it is here that visitors can buy Iranian handcrafts and street food. You should be prepared to haggle with the bazaar merchants, who are called bazaris. The Grand Bazaar in Tehran is the oldest and biggest bazaar in Iran and is also known for its unique architecture. Iranian villages outside of the big cities also have their own bazaar, but some may be seasonal. Iran is a must-see country for any history buff, especially those interested in ancient history. As mentioned before, there are 23 UNESCO World Heritage Sites found throughout the country, including many from the days of the Great Persian Empire. One of Iran's most famous historical attractions, First Police, is the ancient capital of the Achaemenid Empire and includes the remnant of many ancient buildings and monuments. Other popular historical attractions found inside Iran include the Rastrian fire temples, ornate palaces, and contemporary sites such as Freedom Square in Tehran. Iran's landscape is incredibly diverse, with several mountain ranges, deserts, forests, and beaches. There are two mountain ranges located in Iran. The Zagros Mountains, Iran's longest mountain range, extends across the country from the northwest to southeast. The Alburz Mountains cross Iran's northern border and can be seen from Tehran. Mount Tuchol in the Alburz Mountains is a popular place for skiing. The Alburz Mountains also contain Mount Damavan, which is the highest mountain in the Middle East. Iran's two great deserts, the dasht e Lut and dasht e Kavir, contain unique rock formations and expansive desert landscape. The Caspian Khazar forests in Iran's northern region of Gilan province are lush and green and offer beautiful hiking trails. In addition to Iran's coastline, there are several popular islands that offer visitors beautiful beaches and scuba diving opportunities. Iran's Kish Island is one of the most popular island resorts in the Middle East, and because it has a free trade zone status, foreign nationals do not need an entry visa to visit. In this series, you will learn informal and formal greetings, how to order meals, how to ask for directions, how to bargain for the best price, and how to talk about your likes and dislikes. We will also share with you some basic information about the country of Iran, its government, and its people so that you can make the most of your time during your future travels. We hope you have enjoyed this introduction to Iran. In the next video, you will learn about the Persian alphabet. You will also learn how to greet people and how to introduce yourself. Goodbye, and see you next time.